Welcome back to my channel. My name is Vasa Olga. In today's video, we're going to be talking about foundation and practically about types of foundation. A couple of months ago, I filmed a tutorial where I explained everything about undertones, how to pick the perfect shade. But um, at the moment, we're going to be talking about types of foundation. I guess all of you know that we have like three types of foundations, like the full coverage foundation, medium coverage, and light coverage. I'm a huge fan of light coverage foundations because they give me enough coverage to even up my tone, but at the same time, it's not overpowering the whole thing. If we're talking about full coverage, full coverage can cover your flaws, not even your undertone, but everything. So you're just gonna be like a paint, so they're gonna be nothing blink. So that is the reason why a lot of uh, YouTube gurus, they prefer full coverage because it can cover like anything. And of course, a lot of celebs and whatever, when they're going out to some red carpet, they, they really need like full coverage. So to take care of any unevenness, medium coverage, it's still going to cover some of your flaws and it's going to even up your tone. Um, but it's still not going to it's still going to leave some imperfections. By the way, I'm obsessed with the makeup look that I'm wearing today. I don't know how I came up with this look. It might be a little bit dramatic for you guys. Of course, I get it. You can erase this glitter over here and you just can get this a little bit closer to your lash line, just a little bit to the bottom and maybe just a bit more gold here. But I, as a concept, I really love it. So if you're really interested, you can check out in your in my shorts. If you, know, if you really wanna know how I created this step-by-step -step routine, then let me know in the comments as well. I will create a video for you guys how to create this look. So let's carry on and off of this. Then we're gonna talk about the base, about the formula of foundation. It has three different formulas. It can be based on water, oil, or powder. It is what it is, so it sounds as it is. If it's water-based, then the main component is water, and then they just add some other ingredients to this formula. And if it's based on oil, then it's gonna be with oil. And uh, just like powder foundation, there's no oil or water. Practically, it's completely dry. If we're talking about water base, it's gonna give some extra liquid to your skin. That's why it's better for normal skin type or it's really good for oily skin as well. But if we're talking about oily base foundation, it's better for dry skin because dry skin needs sometimes some extra oil or it's gonna look like <laughs> stiff. For powder base foundations, I'd say that it's better for oily skin as well. It's gonna absorb some oiliness and it's not gonna show this oils over your face. It's in theory, but how it works out in uh, real life, I have no idea. Let's move forward to some finishes. As the finish, it can be matte finish. It really looks good if you have oily skin and you really want to look extra oily because if it comes out, you're still going to have some sheer. It's a matte finish foundation. It is formulated the way it can absorb some extra oils, but it's just you have to read it first in description. Uh, and foundations with glossy finish or dewy foundations. A lot of YouTubers, they're recommending this type of foundations, but I'm not a huge fan of this type because if you really want to create like dewy foundation, if you really want to create some dewy makeup look, then you can add some highlighter to your routine or you can use some setting spray that has some glitter in it. But in real life, it doesn't look practical. I did use some hack that when I mixed like moisturizer, highlighter, foundation, and something else, if I'm mistaken, it was in um, during my full experimentation. In September, if I'm mistaken, I was experimenting with different types of hacks. It works for some night out and it works for some party time looks. Try to make sure that if you use some dewy foundations and if you use some glossy foundations with glossy finish, so make sure that it doesn't have some uh, additional glitter because you might end up with like too much sparkles and too much glitter over your face. Semi-matte or normal finish it doesn't have extra minerals, but it doesn't have matte finish as well. So it feels like skin. So it's somewhere in between. It doesn't have glitter in it, but it doesn't have matte finish. It's not drying out quickly. We discussed like the bottom of foundations. Now we're gonna be talking a little bit about types of foundations. What kind of foundations we have. So the first one is a liquid foundation. This is like this is the most popular type of foundation that you can find. It's liquid. There's nothing to add. It can be for any type of skin. It can be for dry skin, normal, or oily skin as well. And it can be, of course, like full coverage or light coverage, medium coverage. You can find anything 
if you're looking for good foundation because this is like the most popular type of foundation. The second type I would say that is like tinted moisturizer. Of course, this is the moisturizer, but this moisturizer has some pigment. It has some tint in it. If you're not like a full coverage girl, if you're not into foundations and concealers and powders, but you really want to even up your tone and feel moisturized throughout the day, you can use tinted moisturizers. And I would say that this can be for any skin type, but practically for normal and dry skin. For oily skin, I'm not sure, but of course you can moisturize oily skin. That's why I guess tinted moisturizers can go for every single skin type. It's like super light coverage. Now let's talk a little bit about cream foundations. About cream foundations, I can tell you that's like Kat Von D foundation. It was like a powder. It feels like contour, like cream contour but it's cream foundation. It's gonna move really fast. That's why I would recommend this type of a foundation, like cream foundation for someone who has dry skin or normal skin, not oily skin, cause it, it's gonna move a lot. And I'm not sure if you really like it. Another thing that I really wanna mention about cream foundation is that it can give you dewy finish. So it can be like, mostly it tend to be with dewy finish, glossy finish, whatever, cause it's cream. Moving to stick foundations. I don't like stick foundations, maximum coverage. It's not even like full coverage, this extra full top, full coverage. I actually do have one stick foundation from Wet n Wild. I really like it. it blends up easily, but I use my brush first because it's really dense. So I use my brush first and then I go to my beauty blender to smooth everything out. They, they crease a lot. Yeah, they get into your lines. It's it's practically for some night out, for celebrity red carpets, or even for some party time. I'd say that's definitely for a few hours, but it's not for like for the whole day. If you want to know my opinion, it can go well with uh, any skin type, like dry, normal, oily. It doesn't really matter. And now it's getting really popular, like mousse foundation. I would say that Maybelline was the first brand that came up with this idea. And if I'm mistaken, like mousse foundations were really popular in 2000s or maybe the, like the beginning of 2000s. They were not perfect. Most of them had this orange undertone. I don't know why, but it's just like most of them had or just most of the girls wore orange foundation. But about mousse foundations, a lot of makeup artists, a lot of, let's say, gurus and companies gravitate toward this type of foundation. It's really handy. It's it, it doesn't dry out your skin. It doesn't make it oily. That's a great, a huge advantage. But I've noticed that I saw some shorts from one of the vloggers. I don't even know her name. I just like, I saw that. She was applying this mousse foundation and when she was trying to blend this out with the brush, it turned out to be a cakey. It was cakey. But then she used her fingers, uh, her hands, and to try to apply this mousse foundation as if like some moisturizer and it smoothed out. It was completely different formula because maybe she let it warm against the skin. I don't know what was the deal about that, but she really liked the final result. And I really liked the final result. It was really nice. So as it claims, the smooth foundation doesn't get into your lines, into your wrinkles. So it's kind of stain. Though I don't believe in such thing as not getting into your crease lines and whatever, but it, it claims that it's not getting into your crease lines. So let's believe this fact. Mousse foundation is practically the best option and solution today. I don't know, is it true or not? I've never tried actually mousse foundations. I should probably give it a try. It can get from light to medium coverage, so it can cover some flaws, but it's not full coverage foundations. It's gonna give you like glossy effect. Most of those foundations, they contain SPF protection. The best thing is that it can suit every single skin type. So for dry, oily, and normal skin. And as the final step, I'm gonna be talking about powder foundation. Powder foundations get really popular maybe, I don't know, four years ago, maybe even last three years ago. The first popular and I would say viral powder was from L'Oreal and it's still is one of the best on the market. I saw a couple of videos over the internet that people really enjoyed this powdery product. It doesn't contain water or it doesn't contain oil. It's based on powders and the best thing that it's gonna cover your face and it's gonna absorb some extra oil. So it's better for oily skin. It can be from medium to full coverage. It's not light coverage. And I would say that it's gonna give you like matte finish Practically, it's gonna be matte finish. And that is it, guys, for today. I hope you, you found this video helpful and useful for you because um, there's a difference between finishes and bases and coverages and types of foundations. So let me real quick just define that for you one more time. 
full coverage, medium coverage, and light coverage. That's about coverage, that's it. About base, water base, oily base, and powder base. As for finishes, you can have dewy or glossy finish, you can have matte finish or semi-matte finish. And about types of foundations, you can have liquid foundation, tinted moisturizer foundation, then creamy foundation, stick foundation, mousse foundation, and powder foundation. Choose for yourself, which is better, like dewy or no dewy. Whatever. And that's it guys, I love you so much. I'm gonna see you in one of my next